guys my name is a chongler and welcome back to another video today I'm gonna show you guys how to make yourself a very very simple minecraft server and it is amazingly easy uh, to make this minecraft server and you're gonna be able to do whatever you really want on it you can uh, you know play online obviously you can do literally whatever you want and you could play with someone that doesn't even have a minecraft account they could download a fake version of minecraft if they want and they could play with you so this is gonna be super super easy for you guys to do and it is very very simple to set up so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to do it right now so what you need to do is you're gonna need to go into the description and download this program from this website right here planet minecraft and basically what it is it is a automatic server creator so this is gonna be literally one of the easiest things how to make a server for you guys I I'll, I'll show you it's super super simple uh, so what you're gonna need to do is scroll down here and click this little installer right here click it it'll bring you to an ad fly link uh, here, I'll just show you and then you're just going to want to wait for this thing to wait the five seconds and then you can click skip ad, which I will show you guys because some people I still know that will click this thing and, you know, download something that you're not supposed to. So click skip ad and then it'll add right down to here. So I already have it. I'm going to cancel it. And uh, when you have it, just move it on your desktop. You will get this little guy right here. It's called SCP. Double click in and open it up. Uh, run it. And this is going to be uh, the first time you install it. You're going to need to go through the installer. So click next. Wait for this thing to go. Uh, this actually won't go, so you're just gonna need to click install. Um, I had to. If I found that out the hard way, I was waiting for like 10 minutes. I was like, okay, so I just gonna click install. There you go. And you might get this little this little error right here. Just go ahead and click uh, continue. It does not matter. And this is the control panel for your Minecraft. So if you really want, you can close out of this. You will not need this this program anymore though. So you can actually delete this. Uh, uh, but I can't right now because I have my desktop all messed up right now but you'll get a new program uh, sort of like this and all you need to do is double click this one it'll open up your control panel so you really don't need this one anymore it'll give you an error if you ever try to open it because this thing is basically what you need anyway so double click this and this is your control panel to make your server so obviously first time users click create server uh, name your server whatever you want I'm gonna make it Chong Chongcraft I don't even care uh, max players I'm just gonna set this to two just to show you guys that it does work I could really set it to whatever you want uh, IP what you're gonna need to do for your IP is you're gonna go um, you're gonna need to go onto a website so I'm gonna minimize out of this you're gonna type in what's my IP or you can go to IP and uh, go to this website I'm gonna have this blanked out but here's your IP this little blue this first thing that comes up that's your IP or you can actually go into Google just type in what's my IP and look at that Google your public address is right there so you can go ahead and just copy and paste that right onto your um, right into your server so you can come on in here IP paste that's your IP right there so next thing you need to do is your port your port is gonna be 25565 uh, even if you are running something on it uh, you might want to change it to six but for first-time users if you just make it a Minecraft server make it five if five does not work just make it six, alright? But five should definitely work for most people. Memory, this is how many gigs you want to allocate. So you can go right there and look at that example. 100 or 10, 1024 is one gigabyte. So you can go into your calculator if you want. And if say if you want two gigabytes allocated onto your Minecraft server, all you do is 1024 times two. There you go. That's how many gigs is two. So you're gonna go 2048 for two gigs of uh two gigabytes of RAM on your Minecraft server. This is usually ideal. One would be perfectly fine as well. Uh, if you're playing, you know, with just like a couple, a couple of friends, that would be perfectly fine. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's going to be your memory. You can also make it if you want to have mods or if you just want to play plain vanilla, you can pick whatever update you want to play on. Um, craft bucket is down here. These are all the mods. I don't know what this is. So, uh, you might want to mess around with that if you want craft bucket is where you can download all the weird mods and stuff and like, you know, world edit, all that stuff. Vanilla is just plain old Minecraft. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, world, I'm not sure. I think this is what um, what file you're gonna be using your world for. So actually, just keep this alone. This isn't this isn't the seed. This isn't anything. So uh, just leave this alone. This is good to go. This is your exact thing. For your IP right here. This is gonna be. Uh, this is like I said. It's found off of your what's my IP address, and this is what your friends are gonna be connecting to. And um, so yeah, when you're done with everything, just go ahead and click create, and give it a sec to download everything. 
Now what this is going to do is it's going to just throw it all into one folder for you. So uh, that's basically where you're going to be accessing it too. And boom, right here, Chomcraft. This is it. Plugins, ID. Yeah, we're good. So if you want to actually run the server, all you need to do is click open server. You're going to get this thing. Um, and for the first time, what you're going to want to do, if, if you want a custom seed, I do believe you have to go into here and uh, level name. This is what the seed's going to be. So you're going to want to name it really whatever you want. Here, I'm just going to name it world X. I, I don't know. I'm just going to name it that, whatever. You click save, and that's just going to be the seed. And then right here, Minecraft server, double click it, and give it a sec to launch. This is basically the entire Minecraft server that you're running. And, um, yeah, there you go. So, oh, dude, you know what? I already have a port on mine. So this is actually going to be changed to 8 because I already, I'm already running a port. Save that, and then if you launch it again, should be good to go. And uh, as you can tell from right here, it is preparing the spawn, and that is what you want to see. So preparing the uh, world XX, that is basically our seed. When this is up, that means your server is running. So you can minimize out of this, and this is actually the world where, you're, uh, where everything's going to be saved. So if you want to transfer worlds, uh, say you have a single player world, you can actually bring that from your desk or from your Minecraft folder, your app data folder, and just rename it World XX or whatever this is, uh, whatever you name this, and you can drag it in and replace all the files so that way you can play in your single player world if you want. Uh, but that's about it. Honestly, that is how you do it. Uh, so I'm going to open this. This you need to keep running the entire time. Uh, I'm going to actually open up Minecraft right now to show you that this does work. Um, so just go ahead and open up your Minecraft here. And that is literally it, guys. I, this is one of the easiest ways to make a Minecraft server out there. Um, I found this mod on the forums, and I was like, dude, I am doing this. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is just go into multiplayer, uh, go to add server, and name your Minecraft server whatever you want. I'm going to name it Troncraft. AFT, there you go. And the server address, what you are going to need to do, since you are running this server, you're going to need to type in localhost, just like that. And then click done, scroll all the way down, and I actually, here yeah, I'm running two of them right now for some reason. So th this is, they're actually the same server, the same exact IP and everything, but uh, I actually failed the recording uh, a little while ago because it didn't go as planned. But look at this, look at this ping, look at this, one ping, that is, <laughs> that's running straight off of your computer, guys. So this is your exact Minecraft server, um, and you can do really whatever you want with it. It is an amazing, amazing thing uh, to to do, and really, really easy to set up. I've been getting, uh, not I really haven't been getting this because I don't really do videos like this, but a lot of people have been like, dude, I want to make a server. Let's go, turn up. So this is how you do it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments section. If you want me to go more in detail about this, um, I will let you know. Also, one more thing, you see how it says a Minecraft server? You can actually change that if you want. So you, all you got to do is go into your um, what is it? Right here. Click it. Uh, open server. And you can go into your server properties. This is exactly uh, your entire server properties. So this is going to be everything. You can change the difficulty, your PvP. This is basically the thing that holds your entire server together. So that is it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave in the comment section. Oh, if you wanted to change the, uh, the message of the day, here it is. You can name it. be like, yo, yo. There you go. You can do that. Save. Reload the server. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Also, one more thing, guys. If you guys uh, are done with the playing on the server or whatever, be sure you type down here. You type in stop. Just like that, and it'll stop the server for you. That means the server is officially gone, uh, or it's not online. So if you if you do want to play the server, you will have to manually go into here, launch the server every single time, and uh, but every, all the progress and stuff will be saved. So if I go to refresh, go down here, yo, yo, two players, there you go. So that's it, guys. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section. I will get to every single question I can. Um, go check. Go, you got to download the mod. Go download it. Super simple. Super easy to use. Highly recommend it if you're making a Minecraft server for, like, uh, you know, any sort of map, any parkour map, any, like, single-player map, if you, or if you just want to play with your friends and have a good time. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. You guys take care. Hopefully, this helps a lot of people out there. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit the like button. It really does help out the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Have a great day. Take care. And I'm out of here, guys. Adios.